Lack of proper accommodation has remained a major problem confronting millions of Nigerians, especially the urban dwellers. The high level of migration from the rural to urban centers has worsened the situation and exposed the people to undue exploitation in the hands of property owners. The Anambra State Government, having acknowledged that accommodation has been a huge challenge for low- and medium-income earners, especially in Noka, Onisha, and Inewi, says it has identified five estate development firms to partner with in provision of housing estates in the state. Commissioner for Housing, Poli Onyeka, told journalists that the estate companies have been selected to work with government in realizing the housing objectives. He said that roads are now being developed to the housing estates to encourage developers to commence massive housing projects. If you now say how much you buy, you better buy, the next week it will start construction because it can always be affected in the material to the housing estates. Then the next week it will be affected in the material to the housing estates. You get the point. Thank you. And that's the essence of what government is doing today. Putting roads everywhere. So that there will be access to those uh, places. You know, without uh, anybody suffering and whatever. So those essences will start to come up there. On incessant cases of building collapse in the state, Oyeka said a building control agency is coming on board to ensure developers keep to standards, right from soil testing, warning that those who default will bear the brunt. Even a street liability offense for you to construct any house anywhere without approaching the fiscal planning board. The first thing you have to Citizens of the state are concerned that there are no feasible and visible estates or housing units in the state, despite massive billboards heralding the existence of gigantic estate companies. Ndo, Signature TV News.